Okay, folks, this is investigating cloud native resources within AWS in under one minute. So first of all, let me share my screen. Um, so obviously, <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is create a project, right? There's a particular case, an incident. So we'll just call this test Linux <clears throat> um, investigation test. When I hit create, now I need to get data in. So how can we import evidence, right? We support a lot of uh, native resources that are running within AWS. For the case of, for the sake of this particular example, let's just look at EC2s, right? So VMs running in, in my AWS environment. So I'm gonna select the particular account in which this target resource resides in, and then select the particular region. When I hit import volume, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go off and grab a full disk image. We're gonna bring in the console logs. We're gonna compress the disk and then take a screenshot if it's running. Should you want to generate a shot 256 hash, you can do that as well for evidence um, chain of custody. Now when I hit acquire instance, we're gonna go off, leverage the cloud service provider APIs to grab a full volume capture. We are API first. So when possible, right, the entire front end is decoupled from the back end. You can do everything via APIs and your detection technologies that may trigger uh, an acquisition in this case. Now, once the data has been acquired, then we provide the ability to truly investigate a full timeline analysis view of every event that was ever processed on the machine and any other evidence items that you may have brought in. So in this case, we're looking at a full disk image of a of a Linux web server. And I can see that there have been some things that we bubble up as suspicious in our automated investigation tab. As I scroll down, you'll start to notice that the proximity of curl commands related to the particular malware suggests that those are likely bad as well. And we can see that the scripts are running. But as I scroll further down, you'll start to notice that not only are we seeing events coming from the full disk image, but now you start to see the alarms coming from guard duty, right? In this case, this particular EC2 instance is communicating out to a Tor exit node. And shortly after that, you see the same EC2 is communicating to a known Bitcoin IP. So this is a short story of what happened. And now an analyst has a lot of discretion as to how they want to manipulate or in, interact with the data. If they want to pivot off date time, show me what happened just before this PHP backdoor is written to disk. They can move to a full timeline analysis view where they see every event ever processed, regardless of whether it was flagged malicious or suspicious. Thanks for the time.